Hi there. I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can use mindful art in our children's, teens and family yoga classes. So art and yoga for me have always gone a little bit hand in hand. I am by no means an artist. I am not an art teacher as such, but I can definitely facilitate some mindful art activities throughout my yoga classes. So it's something that I bring into my teacher trainings as well. Um, but for me, I really feel that children's yoga and art, they, they can get a lot of the benefits from both. So as we know, many of the benefits or all of the benefits of yoga, we can see reflected through the process of art as well. So it is about the process, not about the product. So using art to help children to process emotions, feelings, uh, experiences that they've had. We can use art to help them to release emotions, to cultivate a sense of focus, expression, freedom, patience. So there's a lot of different benefits that they can feel in art that they can also get from yoga. So I really feel like it's a great combination. So there's two ways that I would really suggest bringing art into your yoga class. So that, that it doesn't become just an art class, it is a yoga class and we're using mindful art. Obviously you can absolutely teach a mindful art class where it is just you know 45 or 60 minutes of just mindful art. Um, but for now I'm just gonna talk about how we can bring mindful art activities into our yoga classes. So the first way is to bring in an art meditation. I personally do mandala art meditations, as you might have heard me talk about before. It is a workshop that we do on my teacher training, so it's a full afternoon of exploring different mandala art meditations. So I can definitely t talk about this um, for like four or five hours. But basically, um, there's a couple of different ways, of, uh, well, more than a couple of different ways that you can do mandala art. But to keep it really simple, an art meditation would be where we're giving the children the freedom to explore and to process usually their emotions uh, and their feelings. They might not be talking about it. They might not be fully aware or be able to label any emotions that they're feeling, but they're really focused, they're quiet, they're in their own zone. They're using the materials that you've given to them, whether it be art materials or mixed media, paint, oil pastels, can be really simple, could just be pencils. And they're really focused on their own mandala or their own canvas or piece of paper. And they're really just exploring, exploring, experimenting, getting curious, and perhaps with the older ones and the teens, definitely. They're starting to explore and become more aware of sensations, feelings, and emotions. So this art meditation, it really depends on the age to how long it could last. It could be anything from three minutes to 30 minutes for the, the older children and the teens. This is not really guided. It's more that you are holding space for them. You're giving the expectations, you're setting the kind of guidelines of what this is a, you know, what it's all about, what an art meditation is all about, but you're not guiding them to create something in particular. You're giving them the media, you're giving them the materials and resources, but you're allowing them to explore independently. It is a quiet activity, it is a mindful activity, so everything they're doing is with intention, they're really focused, they're completely concentrating on what they're doing and it is absolutely about the process, it's not about perfection and it's definitely not about what they've created at the end. So an art meditation is not about creating something beautiful, it really is about the whole process of what they're going through emotionally, uh, mentally and also being in their, their own space and their own zone um, where they can really focus and be quiet and find a little bit of mental stillness even as they're moving through um, the creation of art. So that's one way. And then the other way, which is the way that I see is most common, it's a little bit uh, easier, I suppose, to bring into your class. And that is to do a mindful art activity in which the children are creating something that is going to help them or support them with their pranayama, their breathing techniques, with their meditation, 
Uh, it could be related to affirmations, mantras, um, something to do with yoga philosophy. So as an example of this, you could create mala beads or uh, a breathing bracelet or a chanting bracelet. Uh, and this would be something that they, they produce in the class. So again, it's done mindfully, it's done quietly, it's with intention, but they are producing something in particular. They obviously have the creativity to choose whatever colors, whatever styles, whatever designs, um, but they're creating something in particular. So let's say you're creating a breathing bracelet or a breathing stick, if it didn't want to be a bracelet. And um, this is something that they maybe spend five to 10 minutes creating, and it is going to help them with the breathing exercises outside of the class. So you can teach them how to use it. It would be something as simple as every time they take a breath, they slide the um, they slide a bead along the, the stick, kind of like an uh, abacus, but with uh, breathing instead of counting. Or if they are creating mala beads, which we typically use for chanting, but you could use again for breathing, a breathing exercise, then they would just hold that they create their mala, they, they choose the beads that they want on their mala beads, and um, they can hold each bead, take a breath in, take a breath out, and then move on to the next bead. You can do that in the class, and then you've taught them and given them this resource that they've created themselves to be able to take that outside the class. They can use it at bedtime, they can use it when they feel stressed or overwhelmed. I have so many different activities that you could do that would be mindful art. Another really nice one would be um, to, to create, uh, to make a, a stone, well not make the stone, paint the stone. So you get stones or pebbles, they can paint it. Uh, that in itself is a mindful activity that would, could be seen as a uh, moving meditation, an art meditation. They might like to write an affirmation on it and then you can use that stone in your meditations. If it's a small stone, it could be something that they place on their belly uh, as they inhale and exhale, doing the belly breathing, the calming breath. It could be something that they hold in their hands as they close their eyes and they do uh, a quiet guided meditation, or they can place it in their hands as they lie down in Shavasana, again, as a guided meditation. And they will take that home uh, and it's just a reminder for them so they can put it you know on their bedside table and perhaps that reminds them that every morning or before they go to bed they take their their stone that they've created um, that they've painted and they can do some breathing belly breathing to calm them down so there's just a couple of ideas uh, i have a lot if you're really interested in this then i would recommend that you come on my teacher training or if you've already done a teacher training and you just want some more inspiration, then take a look at my lesson plans. I have got the first month of, I have a year long uh, program, I could call it a program, uh, where you get eight new lesson plans every month. The first month is $5 or about four euros, four pounds. And you get eight lesson plans straight away, plus five workshops that aren't on offer anywhere else. And those workshops, are all about how to grow your business, how to start your business, how to grow it, how to make it more sustainable. Um, so you can get all of that for $5 or four pounds for the first month. And then if you want to continue, then it's $16 after that, but you can cancel it anytime. Um, so for $5, you get eight lesson plans, two med meditation script books, uh, which make your meditation time super easy. Uh, to be honest, it's worth the $5 just for the meditation script books. Uh, plus the five workshops that are going to help you to start, grow and sustain your children's yoga business. Uh, obviously, I've got the full teacher training. If you haven't done your 95 hours yet, then you can do it online or join me in Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia. Um, but yeah, get in touch if you're interested in the 95 hour teacher training. I would love to see you there or to support you on the online training, which is self-paced. So it makes your life really easy. Do it in your own time, in your own home. Uh, and yeah, try out some of the art meditations, uh, explore some of my uh, mandala meditation videos if you're not sure what they are, and give it a go, see, see how the children and teenagers respond, and then let me know, come back, 
send me a DM or a comment below this video and let me know how your mindful art is going in your children's yoga classes.